Once all of the accounts are up to date, we need to make sure we balance those accounts and reconcile, reconcile them on a regular basis. So we need to actually be checking back to the statements and reconciling them. How we do that is you go to accounts and reconcile. And it's a great idea to do this at least weekly um, because you can never go wrong when you do them weekly. Um, it's really easy to pick up any errors that may appear uh, throughout the period there as well. So if you go to reconcile, we can reconcile an account and we've, it can tell us the last time an account was reconciled. We put in the ending balance and the ending date. And um, this can be gained from the bank accounts as well. So with your access to the bank accounts, you would simply log in. So we then go to the account that we're trying to reconcile and we'll need to go back to the last statement date here was the 17th of the 9th. So we're looking to do a, if we jump say to the end of that week would be the 22nd of the 9th, 2019. And the ending balance we need for that for the 22nd of the night. So let's have a look here. So back here, we're going to have to go back to the ninth. So keep working your way back to September. Okay, so we're looking for 16, 17. So it's 22nd we're looking for. Okay, so there's no 20 seconds. So the ending date will be this amount here. Need to get rid of those things there. Okay, so now we can start reconciling. So in most instances, it will actually reconcile pretty closely, um, give or take um, a couple of things that may need to be picked up. See how we go. Not going to get away with it that easy here. It's out by $8,200. So what we need to do is, now there's a couple of transactions that are from the 6th of the 8th and the 19th of the 8th and the 2nd of the 9th. Now none of those should be in here at all because it's only from the 17th of the 9th onwards. And then the 20th of the 9th. So actually... Uh, and that's correct as well, because we're going to the 22nd. Now we're out by $2,144. So what we want to do is have a look back through the transactions and have a look at uh, where we're out. Um, now I'm going to take a quick stab. This one might be easier than uh, said, because I think that adds up to pretty much the right amount. So if we untick that transaction, there we go. So what's happened is probably these have not processed within the period that we'd selected them to process on. So what we'd like to do now is finish this transaction because we've actually balanced it off now and that makes it actually nice and easy. Uh, and so what we can do now is we'll do the next period there as well. Um, so we'll go forward another week. So the 22nd um, of September becomes, it's a Sunday, let's go the 29th of September. Actually, let's just take it to the end of the month, which is the 30th. We'll close it on the 30th of September. And that closes at $497,354. $497,354. Uh, I'm just looking at the transactions from the bank statement to get that information. And I can start reconciling. Now, when we open up, we'll probably have a bunch of similar things going on here. So um, as you can see, we're out by that similar amount again. So let's take these transactions all out, 19. So that all these will be from the wrong period again as well. And that balances that as well. Now, the question is, all these transactions technically shouldn't be there either um, because they are already, uh, they're actually being processed and shouldn't be sitting in the system. So in this instance, if you were to open them up, you can edit that. And you can delete it straight out of here. And it'll push it back to the rec sheet to reconcile. Same deal. They shouldn't be sitting on your bank statement.
Sometimes you may have checks that haven't cleared and stuff like that, but often it's a, it might be a payment we made, but the transaction never went through the bank account, uh, which is the case of this here. So This one here. So we've got a, something for a journal entry here as well. And let's have a look where this has come from. So income account 195, suspense account 195. I'm not sure what this is for. There's no details here in relation to it. Just delete this out of our rec sheet. That balances us for the deposits there. A couple more bill payments for barter card as well. Interestingly, not in our system either. So they're bill payments as well. 24th and 9th. They would have gone through on one of the credit cards, which would have been, so we'll delete them. We'll edit them out of the income account and push them across. It would have actually been the ANZ credit card. Come back to that one. Something strange going on there because actually we can check to see 24th the 9th. So you can check to see if it's actually in your bank account. 24th the 9th. Barter card, barter card. Looking for barter card. Can't sit in there. Nothing there at all. So there's, it's definitely in the wrong account. There is not transaction in that account at all. So it's not part of the income account. So look at that again. So it's a bill payment, but, it, but it's pushing to the income account, but that is not where it was paid from. We can actually do a search in our bank account. And it would have been both payments together. So I'll have to try and trace this down here. So we've got two, two payments. So one for 909.57. So 909.65. And then 1209.65. So that's 2119.21. So if we have a look here, see if we can find 2119.22. Okay, there it's there. So it's the went through on the 4th of October and that's barter card. So that'll get picked up in the next rec sheet. So that's good. So it's a downloaded transaction, but it was, it was a few weeks later. That's good. Okay, so what we can do is we can finish that now. Done. And we'll do one more. And we will do... See if we can win 
with the end of November, uh, October. We can try a chunk here. Sometimes it all works pretty well. So we've got a closing balance, 31st of October, five. Start reconciling. Now you're either gonna be balancing to the cent or not, looking good. Um, so if we scroll through, see if there's anything outstanding. It's picked up those two butter card, which is great. There's a transaction here for owners pay of 556, which is a transfer. And another expense that's not in the sheets there as well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is find this transaction. So 566, and so we'll do that on here as well. We'll do an advanced search because we can search all bank accounts. And see so what an amount, 566. And we want the date of the 11th, the 10th. Hide the other bank account. So it's not in that bank account. So we know that's good. So we. So we can see, here we go. So in the 11th to 10th, we've got from profit account to owner's pay account. Okay. So now if I look at this, it's from income account to owner's pay account. So it actually should be from profit account, profit account and save and close. So we can see that just transaction had not gone to the right place. So that's good. And now, there's one other one in here in the wrong spot as well. And this was a mobile withdrawal. So 90.91 on the 21st, the 10th. Ninety ninety-one. No results found. Somewhere. Transfer to income account. Let's have a look what it says over here. Transfer to income account. Manually added. Broaden the date. Let's jump out of here. No results. So there's no transactions for ninety dollars ninety one. Weirdly, let's get rid of the dates here. Actually, let's have a look what happens when we get rid of the dates. Still no results. Still nothing. So there's no nothing for ninety ninety one. Oh, it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, there's GST on it. So let's go a hundred dollars. And interestingly, it's a transfer, so it shouldn't have GST on it anyway. Out of scope. Because it's an expense. Shouldn't it be an expense? It should be a transfer. Uh, 
Okay. Now it is balanced, so finish now, and that's done. So then we just need to go back then to here, and we're gonna do the other bank accounts. So we can do the off expense account next. Okay, $2,000 discrepancy. from this happens sometimes when you make some adjustments so that's the what we deleted today just got no dates there for it we have a look back in here. There's two thousand dollars. So that's the two thousand. So what we need to do is we need to go. So deposit online transfer business one. Allocation. So we've got to work out where this went to from op expense account. So it was a received $2,000 and it would have come from the income account. But the income account saying it did not receive the 2000 did not deliver the $2,000 on the 19th of the 8th. So we will just have a look at this over here. This is why it's important to get your, trend, your information right when you're doing your matching. And we know the date is the 19th of the 8th. Okay. Deposit online transfer business one. So $2,000, 19th of the 8th. This is the transaction. So we can actually find out a little bit more detail about this as well. So if we have a look at here, we can get a payments list. Past. We'll go back to the 19th of the 8th. And so on the 19th of the 8th, Nineteenth, looking for two thousand dollars. Okay, so it will be this one here because it's got three payees. Okay, so we've got three transactions. It's all coming out of the income account, and it's for three amounts. So what we need to do is find that. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the income account and see how we treated it here. So what we need is in the reviewed on the 19th of the 8th. Okay, so we should have a transaction. Here we go. Okay, we have split it, 500. So we've got the transactions here, so we'll compare that. So it should be 500 to owner's pay. It should be 185 to profit account. And it should be 2000 to the OPEX account. 
Okay, so those three are correct. Payment account, those three. So save and close that. So now we need to find those three transactions in the respective accounts. So now we'll go across to the first one, which is the owner's pay account. Okay, owner's pay. And we're looking for the 19th or the 8th. $500. So it's a, shouldn't be an expense. Should be transferred. Get away with that, that's all right. So we're gonna match that, that's good. Now we have profit account of 1%. And we've got the 185 match. And then we should be at the 2000 in the OPEX account. 2000 OPEX account. Add. Something's not right. Please choose choose GST. So we're going to go for GST exempt, out of scope. Okay, so that gets that back and correct. Interestingly, we have this transaction back here again. Transfer. Westpac business transfer to income account. So it's a spent to income account in the OPEX account. So that should be income account. It's gone to the wrong place. So that's his now income account and it is transferred to income account out of the OPEX account. So that's correct now. So I'm going to add that. That fixes that up as well. And now if we go back to reconcile, we're gonna, we would like to go to the OPEX account and we're gonna have to review the last, the history. And so in the history by account, there's only been one done. And what we do is click on here, and we undo it's 25 transactions. Yes, because we're going to need to redo this on here. You can go back through each of them. There's only one done in this case here because we need to fix up this reconciliation here. So now the ending date, let's start, we'll do the 31st and 10th, 19 again. And as I mentioned, it's easiest to do in batches of weeks. And so we're doing a couple of extra weeks in this one. So we're gonna do the whole period, but it should in most cases work out pretty good. But obviously from your perspective, just being up to date means that, and regular with it means that if you do have any questions, you can always check in with me and get resolved pretty quickly. So the closing balance is 1474.56. And we do have a small discrepancy. We've got Oh no, it's all good. It's gone through it and reviewed it all. We do have one transaction here that doesn't seem to have gone through. So we're gonna have a look at that and edit that. Interestingly, that is that transaction there. So that's the transaction, but it's the 2000. See, that's got GST, it should have should be out of scope. Let's fix that. Save and close that. Now, that 
$2,000 there is also looks like that $2,000 there. So I'm going to untick that, tick that. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay, that's actually it there. So we're going to delete that because it's actually a duplicate. And now that's all good. So we can finish that. That account's up to date. And we'll just get in the end of November here. So we're actually up to date currently for that. Edit November balance is two eight two three fifty five two eight two three dollars fifty five. Now the bank rec is the is the critical element for making sure that we balance up our books and that all transactions are matched back through the bank accounts. So actually, you can see now we've got a bit of a variation. There's a few transactions that seem to be over and above. Look, looks like there's a couple of duplications here as well. Sometimes some of these transactions are not duplications. They're actually um, the regular recurring transfers. Let's see what happens when we actually add them all in. Yeah, we come pretty close, but we're back the other way. So we need to go back and do a reconciliation of those. So let's, we can edit that and we can change the date. And instead of the 30th, do the 9th, for example. And that will be 14914. 1491.49. Save that. Okay, the good news is. That balances. We can now move ahead a week. Ending balance for the 16th is $1.49. Beautiful. Small batches, always easy to find. Now, if we go to the 16th, to the 23rd, ending balance on the 23rd, 319.29. And we've got 1220 difference here. So let's have a look. We can be able to, we'll be able to find this. So it's not many transactions going from the 18th. So just remove all the ticks off all of them. And the best course now is to mark them back. So on our sheet over here, from the 18th to the 21st, so the 18th, I'm going to start marking back transactions. So the 18th, first transaction is $800. And then $485. And then $720. And then 500, then 14.52, and then 7.20, and then 4.85, and our balance. So those two transactions aren't yet available. Interestingly, those two are transfers. So I might take that one, and there's something we're going to pick up in those two there, and I am sure. But if you do the next transfer from the next date, so let's have a look. And let's do the 30th. And then on the 30th, it's quite a few transactions. So 282355. That's this out a bit here. So we just work our way back through this here. And starting at the 21st, so we've got the 21st, 720.
She starts the 25th, interestingly. Just trying to work back through here. So the 19th, the 19th. Let's check the dates here. The 19th should have been in the whole week, so up to the 23rd. So they were the two we left out. So the first transaction is... 300 15 dollars 720 1 dollar no dollar 26th interestingly there's no on the statement here there is a dollar transaction it does not exist in here at all Okay, then we have two thousand dollars, dollar sixty-eight, fifteen dollars, that is missing as well. We have the seventeen dollars, two ninety-two, three thirteen, and two hundred. And the 720. Okay, I'm missing a few transactions strangely from here. I'm missing one for a dollar, one for a dollar, one for fifteen dollars. So I'm actually missing some transactions. I'm missing this one here. I'm missing this one here, and then we've got these transactions here. So I don't have a $5.50, I don't have a $5.90, $32.65, I have that one, so I have the $139. 174 45, 174 45, 878. So I have all those. 2000, another 2000, and an 878.07. Missing the 878 from the 29th as well. And I'm missing, got the 37, got the 2000, 750, got the 750. Okay, so there's some transactions out here which will have to come back. So you won't be able to balance this one here because it's actually missing transactions and we'll have to add those in as expenses completely separate. So we'll save that one for later. And really that is the process for working through each of the accounts. Uh, and rec I would suggest obviously reconciling each of those. If you've got any questions, come back. Better to be 100% sure than to guess as well. So always check in. Uh, and uh, the good process is we can do that during a weekly Skype call. All good. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.